Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know that I sure am, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some different lines of sight in Rainbow Six Siege. So if you guys do enjoy, remember to leave a like down below without further ado. Let's get right into the video. So our first spot is going to be taking place in the master bedroom closet on the map house. So you're going to want to enter the closet and then go and shoot a hole exactly where you see me shoot mine. If you shoot the hole correctly, as you guys can see in the video, most of the shot will be taking place behind that shelf, causing you to have a little bit of an area that you can see through. By using this line of sight, you can actually guard both doors to the workshop, so whether you're playing that as an objective or you just don't want anybody passing through there, this can be a really good line of sight to use. When I step out of the master bedroom, you guys can see that it really doesn't look like anything has happened there. At the most, minor damage from an impact grenade or someone just randomly shooting in the closet. And with a shelf fully intact from far away, it doesn't look like anyone has even been there. I hope that this line of sight can help you guys out as much as it's helped me out in the past. But now that one's all out of the way, let's get into our next one taking place in the bathroom on the map chalet. Now like the last one, this one is very simple. For this one, all you want to do is go into the bathroom and then shoot a hole in the floor around where you see me shoot mine. If you have shot the hole correctly, you should be able to see down by the wine cellar stairs. Now this is a very common route for any objective in the basement, whether it be wine cellar or snowmobile garage. It also is very common for people playing kitchen. On top of it being very simple to do, I love how an attacker or defender could use this and easily get kills with it. Now obviously you guys can change the size of the hole if you want it to be bigger so you can see more area, or if you want it to be smaller so it's harder to notice. It's all up to your guys' personal preference. That's really all I have to say about that line of sight. So without further ado guys, let's head over to our next one on the map border. So for this border line of sight, it's really going to help you out when you're playing any of the upstairs objectives. So for this one, all you want to do is go to the security room hallway, go and shoot a hole about where you see me shoot mine, then run back into the locker's objective, and then if you go over to the support beam in the locker's objective, you should be able to see one of the security room entrances. Not only is this doorway a very common pass-through area, but it's also connected to an objective. So if anyone is going towards that objective, or just going through that doorway to go to a different one, you should be able to see them before they can even see you. I don't usually use this line of sight too much, but the next one I am going to be showing you guys, I do use quite a lot. So for these last two lines of sight that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, you are going to need a deployable shield. So for this first one, all you're going to want to do is come to the cigar lounge on the map cafe. You're going to want to go and place your shield down where you see me place mine, hop up on the counter, run across to your shield, and then hop on top of the shelf. From here, if you lean to the right, you can see into that doorway and you'll be able to catch so many people off guard. Now, I'd really only recommend using this line of sight if you are playing an upstairs objective. This is because it's not guaranteed anyone is going to come up those stairs if you are playing an objective such as Train Museum. Like I said before guys, I use this spot whenever I can, it's an amazing spot to know about, and an even better spot to use. Now on to our second shield line of sight, and our final line of sight in this video. All you're going to want to do is go over to this luggage stack on the map plane, go and place your deployable shield down by this red suitcase, hop up on your shield, and then walk on to the blue suitcase. By doing this, you'll be able to see over the luggage stack and down into the bedroom hallway. This is a very common pass-through area, so even if you're not playing that objective, you're still going to be able to get some kills here. Now, I would not recommend staying in this spot, especially if there is a glass on the other team, but with how simple this one is to do, there's really no need for camping, as you can just go there, place your shield down really quick, hop up on it, look over, and then take down your shield. With the amazing outcome that this provides, it's definitely going to change how you play plane. I love using this one, and I hope that you guys do too. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to go and leave a like down below. Also, if you guys want to see more daily Siege content just like this, make sure to go and click that subscribe button. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.